Okay, so my first uh, observations about this brush is that, um, well, about uh, airbrushes in general, is that it just seems to be, uh, this one seems to be fairly, fairly solidly built. It's got a good uh, deal of heft to it. It has these nice little uh, um, rubber O-rings on here to help uh, grip onto it. And uh, another thing that's kind of surprised me is that uh, airbrushes are, at least this design, are fairly simple creatures. Not a lot of parts to them. And so um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just show you how to take this apart. I mean, you're not, I don't think you're going to have to clean or give it a thorough, take it apart to clean it that often. I, mean, I think for, uh, for most of the time, just running some uh, paint thinner through will be enough to clean it out. But, uh, you know, like anything, gunk can build up inside and you'll need to take it apart. So let me show you how to do that in this um, video segment. So you've got uh, two parts to the tip here. I'm going to take this one off first. Like that. Okay, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the needle out. And you do that by just screwing off the back and pulling it out slowly. Don't be too quick. You don't want to bend it. There we go. I've got the needle. I guess a needle that uh, controls the amount of uh, um, paint uh, that gets applied or the, the width of the spray. Let me put it that way. It's the width of the spray. Um, the amount of paint that gets applied is constant. Oh, and by the way, uh, this is a what is called a single action brush. In other words, the only thing that this button controls here is the amount of air that goes through it. The, the paint, uh, the amount of paint is a constant amount. With a dual action brush, you can uh, control the air and you can control how much paint uh, comes out through the nozzle. So this is a, a single action brush. Anyway, um, you saw this little uh, the button come out there. It pops right out after the needle is pulled out. And as you can see, you have a hole going through it uh, where the needle goes through. Okay, let me take this part off here. And this has got a fairly fine point, and we want to be careful not to bend it or get it all dinged up. And, uh, okay, let me take this off. And uh, there's a little washer on there, um, on this part here, so you want to make sure that that doesn't come off and that you don't lose it. So other than that, I think that's the only really small part you need to watch out for. And uh, then the air uh, intake goes down here, and uh, that comes off, screws off like that. There you go, and there's another fine point on there. You want to be careful and not to uh, get that bent in any way, so you want to be a little bit careful there. And then this part comes off, and that is all there is to it. Uh, one thing I like about this is uh, this is where um, the spring action is. It's all self-contained in this part, and I've uh, seen pictures and diagrams of airbrush in which this part here is broken out into several different pieces. You'll have the spring, and you'll have a couple of washers, and you'll have this screw-on part here. And I guess I like uh, the fact that this is all um, self-contained in one unit, so there's uh, actually fewer parts to lose. So that, that's kind of cool. Uh, so anyway, um, assuming at some point the, the spring can wear out in there, and so you'll have to buy a new part, but these are all modular, so uh, they're readily available from the manufacturer from Badger. So let me go ahead and uh, put this back together. Put that in. Like that. Okay. And let me put that back on. Like that. Put this on. Be careful not to mess up that point. And put that on there. Put this back part. Like that. Okay. There we go. Now let's put the needle in. Now you got to be a little bit careful uh, when you put it in because you don't want to go too fast. You want to be fairly gradual uh, because uh, there's a little funnel in here and it'll you know help guide the needle in but you don't want to just jam it in real quick because you don't want to bend the point. So you want to be a little bit careful doing that. Oh, before I go any further, we also need to put this 
button back in. And yeah, you see this hole, you see that hole there, okay? That hole right there, that has to be facing towards the back because the needle is going to basically thread that, okay? So you want to have that facing front to back. And it's designed so that, I don't, I don't think you can deliberately put this in wrong, yeah, that's right. So it's designed so that, you know, you have no choice in how you um, uh, put this button in. So put it in down all the way. Let's push this through like that. Gently. And feel a little bit of resistance as it goes through the front here. And... There we go. It's all back together. Fairly simple. Uh, so now that I've got this out of the way, I'm going to, uh, for my next video, actually start uh, doing some painting. And then my first uh, victim is uh, I'm going to be spray painting a piece of track and uh, spray painting the rails uh, using uh, rail brown paint from Floquil. So. Uh, Stick around and uh, we'll start painting and uh, have some fun. So until then, take care.